so much more real and and the value that you bring to the table um is is very different so i mean i i've seen a lot of people that that do you know say they do coaching and and it just never feels to me um anything at all like what you guys do so <laughs> that's what we were trying to get into the uh you know kind of into that message um so you know again let's say you're at a trade show richard and you know you hand out your business card to someone and they never heard of you like what's the takeaway what are they feeling about you like is this guy like just you know in it for the money or is he in it for my success and 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 that's really a lot of what any brand should do is really try to help control that first impression. So whether you're rolling up in a truck and or that you're stopped at a light and they see that truck and they don't know anything at all about this plumbing company, but what they see on the side of that van, well, what what is the takeaway? What do they feel about you? So, you know, any good brand is really designed to sort of control that first impression and to make sure you're leading in with something that's that's positive. Um, so, you know, we can do so much to control all those impressions on all these different touch points. Um, and then what I love about what you do is you're helping these guys on everything after as far as when they ring that doorbell and, and how do they show that, that brand promise and how do they live up to that brand promise. Um, and when you have those two things connecting, that's when it's a home run, you know, because you look as good as what you really do. And you ring that doorbell and you, you nail that, that service call and, and the people love you and you leave and you know that you've just created brand ambassadors now because you, you did a great service and, and they're really super happy. And, and they already thought something about you just based on all those impressions that they had received, whether they saw your website or the truck, maybe they saw the guy in uniform. So controlling that and, and basically countering bias is the other big piece of it, right? Because they yes. all, they're afraid of who's coming to their home. They're afraid of contractors in general, right. you know, like you could need uh, a whole new water heater or, or you could need just fixing a tiny pipe. Like, I don't know, like, that's not my world. Like, I just know the thing's leaking, just fix the thing for me. But, right. you know, so, <laughs> right. so leading in with being honest and authentic and, and having them feel like you're going to take care of them and treat them right. That's all what the brand should be delivering. Correct. Amen. Guys, Amen, huge nuggets of gold right mm -hmm. there. In fact, the whole gold mine.